Hey guys, in this video we are going to show you all about PTZ control within Wirecast and how you can set up your own live show just like ours within Wirecast. All this and more coming up next. The rise of the one-man video production team is here, and PTZ Optics is happy to announce an integration with Wirecast, made for live streamers by live streamers. Wirecast is the industry's most popular Mac and PC-based live streaming software. And in this video, we are going to dig into the all-new Wirecast Gear, which is a turnkey live streaming system that can control PTZ Optics cameras with the click of a button. But that's not all. We are going to show you how easy it is to set up our weekly live show in Wirecast, plus the awesome benefits of the new Wirecast X-Keys controller. Wirecast is also teamed up with X-Keys to create a professional physical keyboard controller ideal for volunteers new to live streaming and expert broadcast professionals alike. The X-Keys for Wirecast 124 button interface reflects even the most advanced Wirecast features on a real life-size keyboard. Switching your live video production from graphics to cameras to PTZ camera presets could never be easier. If you need to teach new employees or volunteers how to use your live streaming system, this is a complimentary product that you don't want to miss out on. Finally, Wirecast has an advanced new tech NDI integration, which could be paired with the PTZ Optics NDI cameras, but also advanced video production tools like the NDI Telestrator, Studio Monitor, and much more. Let's dig into the latest release of Wirecast software, review the PTZ Optics camera integration, see just how easy it is to set up a show like the PTZ Optics live show, and finally, let's play around with some of the latest new tech NDI integrations available inside the Wirecast platform. All right, guys, super excited to be looking at this. I'm going to go ahead and open up a blank Wirecast setup here and add all of my PTZ Optics cameras. As you can see, they're all coming in through a Pro Capture Quad SDI input. We have eight SDI inputs using the Magewell capture card to do that. So bring all those cameras into Wirecast. And one of the things you'll notice is I'm using layer four. And uh, you'll see why as we set up our show here. I like to reserve layer five for NDI inputs that are potentially coming from other studios. I save layer three here for our intro video and other clips. And then layer two, and I know everyone kind of has their own style here. Layer two, we have this little sidebar that's an animated sidebar. We kind of borrowed from the John Oliver show, and you'll see it here in a second. And I'm just going to drag that over as our sidebar on layer two. And then layer one is where we put all of our, what we call squares. And these are just informational squares about what we're talking about to support the conversation in our live show. And uh, in just a moment here, we'll get into the more advanced Wirecast features that we talked about with PTZ control, camera control, and then also uh, using the new tech NDI. As you can see, I'm actually using the Telestrator now. And uh, as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and jump into the PTZ controller now that we have everything set up. And that's our, our normal setup. So... Now that we've got that set up, I'm going to go ahead and open the PTZ controller in the window tab. And you can see here that it's, it's so easy to get set up. You just need your IP address of your camera and you need to hit that connect button. Once you're connected, you can pan, tilt, and zoom the camera quite easily. And I'm going to show you guys how you can actually set up one-click camera movements to various presets, which is really nice. And just being able to operate cameras as the Wirecast producer is what really makes this setup seamless because now you can be like a one-man show operating focus, iris, shutter speed, zoom, all the things that used to take quite a long time. So here we are setting up a couple of presets. And one of the things that you might want to do is refresh the shot as you create these. Now, in the left-hand corner, you'll see a PTZ, enable PTZ preset recall. And what we're going to do here is you can duplicate the original shot and then assign a new pan, tilt, zoom preset to each. So I like to name these uh, what they are. So I've got one as a wide shot here, and then I've got another as a tight shot. You can see when we cut to that, it's going to go right to that shot. Uh, you can also have the cameras move in preview. And so this is Tess's close up here. 
And we've simply set that up in the advanced section where we have the PTZ preset area that we talked about. I know we're briefly going over this quickly uh, because we have more in-depth demos there. But as you can see, we've got pan, tilt, zoom control. And then what we do is we simply cut to a sidebar and an overlay there. And that's how we, we set up our show start to finish. So I'm very excited to show you guys uh, just a quick little look here at a couple more squares. But I want to show you guys a quick look at how we uh, how easy it is to run uh, a complete copy of our show here. You can actually email us and join our user group to get all of the assets that we use, the Photoshop and After Effects files. But here we are on layer three, cutting to our intro clip. So you can see there, we've cut to our intro clip. And then what we're going to do is prepare and preview our live shot. So we're going to head and click the the transition button as soon as our intro is done playing and that will fade us into our live shot. So we'll do that in just a moment here. And uh, you can see it's just so easy to run your show. So we've clicked that. Now our preview has gone live. And then what we'll do is we'll build up our next shot in preview. So you can see here, we cut to our side shot. We can go ahead and put the sidebar and the sidebar you can see is animated, so that's playing on a loop there. And as we go through our various effects, we can simply pan, tilt, and zoom to different presets. And we can also go ahead and change our squares throughout our presentation. So that's a look at the way that we use Wirecast for our live show, and you can recreate this. But there's this whole layer five. And you know we don't like to use things, uh, let leave things unused. So I want to show you guys a really cool way to use the new tech NDI to connect potentially another live streaming studio. In fact, if you watch our live show, you'll know we actually have a podcasting studio. Which I want to show you guys how we use the podcasting studio and we bring in additional NDI video inputs into our setup. Okay, so here is a live. Wirecast window, and I've got pretty much everything cleared here except for layer five that you can see here. So, layer five has a, now an NDI source, which is our podcast studio. So, I've got our podcast studio here, and you can see here our podcast studio has multiple microphones. We actually have um, a couple lights, and this is this is our podcasting studio that we go into from time to time. There's actually a couple other PTZ Optics cameras uh, in the front there as well that we'll switch to so we can walk into another studio and still have everything connected over our local area network. Now, the other thing we have here is a Telestrator layer, uh, which is quite nice. So this is an NDI Telestrator, uh, which we can also bring in. So as long as everything is cleared here, we can actually have the NDI Telestrator running as well. And you can see there, we can actually uh, write directly on top of um, our Wirecast layers. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you can do with NDI. You simply click the plus button and you'll see a ton of NDI sources we have available on our network. And you can just pull them in super easily. One of the great things about uh, NDI is that it actually does give you the IP address of your camera. So if I just added that NDI camera there, went to PTZ control, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this NDI camera, which should be right here. Type in the IP address and connect. I like to use the D-pad. Now I have PTZ control of this camera. Uh, you can see it's very low latency. You can do quite a lot with this. And then finally, if I want to zoom in, and let's say I want to save a preset one here, and what I'll do is I'll just to show this one more time, I'll duplicate this shot. And then perhaps I want to do another PTZ preset over here. And I'll call that shot two. Save. In these areas here, I can go ahead and enable PTZ. That will be number one. And then over here, I'll enable this for number two. And I just want to show you guys how this works. So as you click, in preview, by the way, this is the preview screen. I haven't set it to cut. A lot of times you want to preview after you have cut. Uh, we've got, the, you want to 
move the camera before you cut to the to the output. There we go. The last little tip I have for you is don't forget to hit that refresh shot icon so that your little pictures there match up with where the camera's going. All right, guys, that's our preview of the Wirecast gear. I hope that you enjoyed it, and that's all we have today. Take care, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn more about live streaming with like-minded people like you, be sure to join our Facebook user group at facebook.com slash groups slash PTZ Optics Pals.